PMC King, we're gonna talk about Errol Spence, Sean Porter finalizing deal in the full unification about WBC versus IBF World Weight Championship. So PMC, so what's your, what do you think, bro? Uh, yeah, man, I think it's a competitive fight. You know, I give Sean Porter a chance to win. Uh, I think he has the, uh, you know, the grit, the athleticism, um, and, and the, the the size, the you know the the you know as far as like his you know his legs and everything like that as far as the movement and everything mm. I, I think he's got the full package to uh, give him some trouble man you know what I'm saying because I think the last time we seen um you know Earl Spence you know in, in some trouble was uh you know Kel Brook you know he looked pretty good for a couple of rounds you know he looked good uh, it took Spence a while to, you know to get warmed up. But that Linda Bundu fight was uh pretty good too, you know, on the inside. Linda Bundu was uh, catching Earl Spence with a lot of good, you know, left hooks and whatnot. But I I, I just think he st- stood in the pocket a little bit too much, mm-hmm. you know, with uh, Earl Spence. So uh, I think with Sean Porter, you know, he can fight on the outside a little bit and then, uh, you know, get in. And do a little bit of ambush fighting, you know what I'm saying? A little bit of ambush fighting, a little bit of uh, jab and grab, and maybe be able to frustrate Earl Spence. So mm. I think I think it's a good matchup. Yeah, I think it's a good matchup. Porter's been Porter's been on a tear since losing to um, he lost to, he lost to Keith Furman. That was his last guy. He lost to Keith Furman and he lost to Kyle Brook. But since then, his resume's tight though. He's been fighting the very best. It, to be fair, he's been fighting better opponents than. Than Errol Spence. Errol Spence is like if you look at his performance with uh, with Kelbrook and Thingy, obviously, but Kelbrook came off the loss against Triple G. It's, it's hard to say, but thing, but Kel, I tell you this, role Kelbrook was winning like the, in my opinion, the first out of the winning like the first kind of like four or five rounds, right? Yeah, he was. He was. Uh, he was. was close. Like actually, Beast had it when Beast was watching. He actually had Porter winning the fight. So if you're gonna go by that, you know what I'm saying? It's, it's a very close fight. So uh, he has definitely got a chance. Um, most people will have Errol's baby on the favor, but if you want to get some money and you're looking for the upset, don't be don't be surprised if Porter don't come in and pull that off, man. I can see I can see him bringing it close because people don't really like his style, but I've seen his style adapt. He could I know he looks like Ram Man. He comes in with his head, but I've seen him box like when he went against um, Br- uh, Brona, he was actually boxing. He, he did, yeah. Hmm. Brona, Adrian Brona. He, he boxed. Yeah, yeah. Bro- Who else he boxed against? Well, yeah, he boxed Brown and boxed U- yeah. Uga. U- U- Uga's uh, fight, U- the Uga's fight was tight, though, man. I think because I, I think they got the strategy wrong. Um, you know, they got the strategy. He struggled in that fight, but so that's probably why the fight is probably easy to make. But he's definitely a legit champion. The two, he's a two-time, two-time welterweight champion, a legit. You know, and he was the, he was on a tear in his first run. You know, what I'm saying he he mm-hmm. he's on the rare guys and not that poorly, man. He he blitzed poorly. He blitzed um mm-hmm. what did he do? He he beat up De- Devin Alexander and then who else did he beat down? Yeah. Who else did he beat down? He beat up Devin Alexander. Uh, uh no, but that was way before that. That's before he was a champion, wasn't it? Yeah. Yeah, but Yeah, that's when he was a bit yeah. still a bit green, you know? Yeah, yeah. But when he became a champion he was tearing cats up. The only guy like I said, uh Kel Brook. But Kel Brook, like, he didn't he didn't capitalise on that. But Porter He's been in the walls. He's been fighting elite. Come, Danny, Danny Garcia. No, he ain't fought Danny Garcia yet. No, they ain't fought yet. That's a fight. Yeah, he beat Danny. He beat. Oh, he, oh yeah. Oh, Sean Porter beat Danny. Yeah. Oh man. Well, beat him. There you go. That's those you right there. Uh, September eighth, uh, two thousand eighteen. Yeah, you're right. You're right. You're right. I might, I might have overlooked that one. Yeah, he was supposed to fight in seventeen. I know. Hold on, Danny, Danny, Danny. Oh yeah, because Danny was complaining he lost against Furman. Then he went against Porter. Lost against Porter recently, didn't they? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. All right. I need to. Yeah. Yeah. See, because I remember they were making a big thing about the Furman, but again, if Danny got two losses on his record, there, there you go, man. So you know I'm saying so. Oh, oh yeah, because Danny. Yeah. Yeah. You're right. You're right. You're right. So. Oh, well that okay? Because he was fighting for the the belt was vacated, didn't it? 
from yeah, the they, they, they was they was they were scheduled to do an eliminator for that belt. Yeah. But you yeah. remember Keith Thurman was injured all the time. Yeah, and stuff yeah, like yeah. So they fought for the vacant belt. belt. Okay, like yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. Then yeah. they vacated the belt. Yeah. But they were the two, uh, you know, they were the they were the two contenders that were supposed to be in the title eliminator. Mm. So they that title eliminator, eliminator that the WBC had called for a year prior ended up being, um, you know, the championship fight. So. Well, he's a live underdog then, man. He's definitely a live underdog then. Because look at his resume, man. Danny Garcia. Keith Furman, you know what I'm saying? Kel Brook, yo, mm -hmm. bro, and he fought some of the old dudes in the old, the old era, like Paulie, Devin. Yeah, he took out Berto. Yeah, Berto. See, like his resume is better, man. Like he's a lot. If he's an underdog, he's a live underdog. I know Errol Spence will be the favorite. He's live, man. He's a live underdog. Am I gonna pick him? Ah, uh, I, I think nearer to the time, see the weight scale. But right now, he's a live underdog. Um, I, my, my, my mind is gonna go with Errol Spence, so I'll stay there for now. But. As it's, it was the same thing with Ramirez yesterday. Like I, like, I brought him, done my breakdown and I gave. Uh, I was picking Hooker, yeah. But when I watched the done my, when I actually done my research and video footage, I said Ramirez is going to win the fight uh, by yeah. stoppage, and and that's what happened, man. But so you have to kind of do your research, look, look, watch over stuff to get an idea. But in terms of resume, shh, yo, if you're looking to do your homework, he's got a better resume, man. He's uh, he's got better fight. He's been in there. Is he is he at the end of the end of the end? Porter, because he, he was struggling against Ugas. I don't know. Ugas is a hard guy to fight against anyway. But we're going to find out, man. We're going to find out. I'm going with Errol Spence right now. Who you going with right now? Man, um, I'm, I'm suspecting uh, Spence will win, but as far as betting-wise, man, I still, I'll, I'll bet on Sean Porter. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. We'll bet on Sean Porter. All right, man. So you guys, yeah, um, put, think, uh, put in, the, in the description but who you think is going to win and why. I'm EJ Boston Live, that is PMC King. Make sure you sub to his channel, and we'll catch you on the next one. Peace. Oh,